Hello and welcome to Fights of the Night. I'm the Sports Guru 716 and I hope you enjoy this episode. I'm trying something that's not been done before and it may be boring, but we'll see. So, there was one fight last night. There were no fights the day before if you were wondering why I didn't upload a video yesterday. And the only fight tonight was between Mark Stewart and uh, Cody Bass. Uh, you know, there, there was a little bit of... of uh, Frustration in the Vancouver Boston game, but nothing ever really materialized into anything. So There's only one fight like and comment below if you do like the video I will also post a link to the fight so you can watch it if you want to watch it before I give my uh, Reaction and my opinions do so and then comment below with your thoughts and if they differ and with the only fight of the night from January 21st with all the games we played was Mark Stewart and Cody Bass. Now, Mark Stewart, uh, only two-inch advantage. Really, these guys are quite similar in size. The little reach, what does it make a difference? The experience is only displayed as NHL fights. And Cody Bass is pretty much a career AHLer. So it was interesting when they went back and forth because Cody Bass does have quite a bit of fights down in the AHL. He's really only had a little bit of experience up in the NHL. They're about the same age. Cody Bass just really hasn't gotten it together to be able to get up into the NHL. But, you know, Cody Bass does a real good job in this fight. And as you can tell here, I determined he was the winner. It was a short fight, probably only uh, 45 seconds long. But Cody Bass really whooped on Mark Stewart. So it was, it was interesting to see because Mark Stewart does have a lot more experience in the NHL with the bigger boys. And... Bass really got to him. Now, they have a history. Eight years ago, Cody Bass laid out Mark Stewart when Mark Stewart was still in Boston. So, I think maybe that may have played a little bit into it because they said Mark Stewart had run Fisher earlier, and that's why Bass addressed it. But the hit can't be found on YouTube, so it must not have been too, uh, too drastic to cause a fight like this. So, yeah, I give the fight to Bass. Thank you for watching my second installment of fights of the night. I hope to upload every day if there's a fight every day. If there's not a fight, I'm not going to upload this uh, series, obviously. Um, I also will upload my opinions on any boarding calls or any major penalties. If I can find a video about the major penalty, whether it's interference, charging, uh, boarding, like I said, Anything like that, I am going to review it, and I'm going to give my thoughts on whether it should have been a suspension or if it should have been a five-minute penalty. Some of these shouldn't be five-minute penalties, and some some should be uh, used in an instance where a player needs to leave the league. You know, you take a guy like uh, Matt Hendricks, where he ran Aaron Eckblad. I don't even think he got suspended, but what he did was pretty bad, so... Take instances like that, and then you realize this is why these rules are in effect. But then you have some instances where a player turns at the last second and causes himself to be boarded. In that instance, it probably shouldn't be a five-minute major. And usually a fight follows that, so it's easy to uh, combine them both into a, the same video or similar video. So comment below with any thoughts, opinions, uh, anything you want me to do in terms of... Uh, my Spit in the Truth series, if you haven't watched that, I did upload a John Scott opinion and a Jonathan Druin opinion. They are truthful. I'm not going to BS you. They are real and, you know, as you can tell by the Jonathan Druin title, I really am not a fan of what he's doing. So, thank you for watching.